Increasing interest rates has the potential to impact all aspects of consumer life and not just if you're on the hunt for a new home. Yeah, consumer reporter John Mattery showing us what you can do to push back so you don't waste your money. Rising mortgage rates are getting all the attention these days, but with the Fed raising interest rates, even if you're not buying a home, these rate hikes can still take a toll. Are you thinking of buying a new or used car? Do you have a revolving credit card balance? Or are you hoping to take out a college loan soon? It's not just mortgage rates spiking this spring. Bankrate.com says average credit card rates are at a two-year high at 16%. The average five-year car loan is now over 6%. 20-year home equity loan, 6%. And that all-important 30-year mortgage is now over 5%, which can add $500 a month to a $350,000 home. But from the doesn't that stink file, how a poor credit score can really hurt you these days. Buying a car, your rate can range from 4% with excellent credit to 17% if you have poor credit. Mortgages and other loans carry similar penalties for low credit scores. So what can you do? Ask about an adjustable rate or ARM if you're buying a home, usually a point or two lower than the fixed rate. Just know it typically readjusts higher in three to five years. So it may only be a smart idea if you think you'll move in a few years. Finally, credit counselors say now is a great time to try to boost your credit score by paying down credit card debt if you can. That way you'll get a better rating. You don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery, NBC4.